Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Royce. If you're new here, welcome. I am a painter, sculptor, and a collector. And on today's episode, we are going to be talking about the Little Mermaid, in particular, the attraction at Disneyland and at Walt Disney World. So without further ado, let's get started. about a Disney princess, what's the first thing that pops into your head? If you said Ariel, you're not alone. Ariel is probably one of the most popular Disney princesses around and there's a reason why. When I was thinking about this, Ariel is only one of two princesses that transform into two beings. The princess and the frog, Princess Diana, she transforms into a frog and then Ariel is a fish and she transforms into a human. But I think that what makes this attraction and this movie so great is the characters, the songs, the character design, the music. I mean, if you think about this attraction, there's so many elements that make it amazing. It's funny for me when I think back of one of the highest points in my career, definitely painting a lot of the figures in the Little Mermaid attraction was up there. I got the honor of painting not only Ariel herself, but Ursula and a lot of the different side fish. And I actually own two of those side fish, a seahorse and I have no clue what kind of fish it is, but I'm just gonna say a coral fish. It's really pretty and I cannot wait to show you an up close detailed look at my fish. Now these fish are really meaningful to me. One was gifted to me and the other one, I actually bought at an auction. So let's take a good look at the fish. Here they are. Let's start with the seahorse. Here is my little seahorse. Now this is a raw print from the actual mold that they are used in the attraction. This one was never in there. It was a spare cast from what I was told. And he is just such a fun addition to my collection. I had a really fun time painting him. And he's not black light. He is just regular acrylic Man Brothers paint. And he's really fun. He's really heavy. He is solid resin. The one that was in the attraction is fiberglass. So a lot of the figures are hollow on the inside, but this guy is solid. Something fun I thought I'd show you before we get started on the fish is the sticker that they gave me. Now, I wasn't actually at Disney in 2010, 2011 during the production and the installation of this attraction, but I was a maintenance artist and they gave me a spare sticker, I guess. And here it is, The Little Mermaid Construction 2011. So she's on my hard hat. I love it. It's haunted. All right, let's get started on the fish. So this fish I actually won at an auction. I was so excited when I saw it for sale and I had to have it. Look at this fish. Look at the colors, look at the detail. It's so funny when I bought him online, he was actually registered as a Nemo fish. But when I took a good look at him, I thought to myself, that fish is from something else. And I went back and I looked at photos and watched videos and I was like, that's from the Little Mermaid. I have to have it. So here he is. He's, he's about, I would say three to four pounds. He's pretty light and he is, like I said, full fiberglass. He's so fun. I think we will have white wine with dinner. I'm kidding. Kidding. I love fish. I don't know about you. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about my love of shrimp when I'm doing a Little Mermaid video. So I have to know, what's everyone's favorite part of the Little Mermaid? For me, it's always been the music. I love Part of Your World. I love Poor Unfortunate Souls. I think that the songwriters did such a great job. What was his name? Um, Alan Meekin, I think. Meeklin? Meeklin? Meekin. I don't know. Don't come after me, Alan. One of the honors of my careers was being able to work on Ursula. Little fun fact here, when I got the task of giving her hair highlights and shadows, one of my coworkers went to the figure, he popped her hair right off. And I don't know if this is a secret or not because there's a lot of videos of the time Ursula's head did fall off and you can see that her hair is in the cauldron. And I thought that was a really inventive way of being able to access the inside of her head and giving her hair highlights for me was really fun. I was really nervous. Another magnet piece on her are actually her suckers that are on her tentacles. They actually pop on and off and they move and her whole entire body is 
really beautifully handcrafted. It's covered in this beautiful black velvet and her skin is a really beautiful, like a stretchable rubber. She's just a amazing figure. She's huge, she's in her lair. Also, what do you think about the ending? I am a little confused, even reading a lot of the behind the scenes. Apparently Scuttle is the one that's telling the story, so that's why it's a little bit different. If you look back at a lot of the concept art, there was apparently two finale scenes, especially one of Ursula that's gigantic and Eric that's gonna ram her with the sunken ship. I think that would have been amazing, but you know, budgets, budgets, budgets. I'm also really jealous of the facade differences from Disneyland and Disney World. When I first went to Disney World and went through the queue of their Little Mermaid attraction, I was so in awe and then I got very, very, very jealous because I mean, come on, I understand space, but what they were able to do with the queue in terms of making a literal aquarium i mean it was amazing and disneyland's of course is just a little bit more basic but i mean i have to understand and i have to take into consideration that disneyland's was something else and it just got refreshed and changed into what it is today but wow it was such a difference and i was very very jealous I think I could blab on forever. I hope you all enjoyed this very fun video of The Little Mermaid. Go ride it, it's a great attraction. I think that it is so charming and one of the best current new dark rides there is. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Be nice to one another and always remember not only to follow your dreams, but to chase them.